Hey guys, we are back taking a look at another gaming product from Corsair. This is part of their Vengeance series, the K60 mechanical keyboard. This product is more suited for FPS titles than MMO or RTS gaming and priced over at $100, this sort of limits the market to only those who don't mind spending such a sum on the keyboard, but right off the bat, they will not be disappointed. The build quality for the entire Vengeance series is pretty solid, and that's the case with the K60. The frame is made of aluminum, which adds a rugged feel, but also this unique look, as we are only used to seeing aluminum on cases, and once placed on your desk, it's quite an enjoyable sight. And the keyboard is relatively compact, which is really convenient for not occupying too much space on your desk, and the real estate is not wasted and is fully used up by the keys. The mechanical switches used here are MX Cherry Red, which are specifically designed to be used for gaming and actually not the preferred switches for typing. They do not produce any clicking noise and are purely linear and require only 45 grams of force in order for the key to be registered. Now this is considered to be ideal for FPS titles as keys are pressed frequently for movement, switching weapons, crouching, sprinting and all the other stuff. And having the tactile feedback when the keys click on each individual press may actually become annoying. And now due to such low operating force, you may encounter typos if you are switching from a non-mechanical keyboard. And if that's the case, give it some time to get adjusted to the feel of the keys. Now one of the cool features that would be useful during gaming are these extra gaming buttons that are provided, that have textured and slightly curved surface that really locks in your fingers and prevents from sliding, but also is really useful for finding the keys fast and getting back to the action. And the spacebar also has this textured surface and combined with the WASD keys, your fingers will have no problem recognizing your way around the keyboard. The K60 comes with a smooth surface palm rest that attaches to the bottom of the keyboard and is meant to raise your entire wrist and support your thumb, but in our testing it actually got in the way most of the time when not gaming. And the palm rest also conveniently stores all the unused buttons and Corsair includes this little extractor tool that is needed to remove the keys for replacement. Now, if you do replace the numbers 1 to 6, you do lose out on the keyboard signs that are usually printed on these keys, such as the dollar sign, the pound key and all the others. But if your main purpose is gaming on this keyboard, actually leaving the textured keys makes sense. But if you do a lot of typing as well, switching back to the standard keys may be more comfortable. The keyboard also features all the media controls on the top right corner, with an aluminum volume wheel that many will appreciate and the Windows key lock button that illuminates when in use. The keyboard can be elevated with 4 feet at the bottom, but this makes the keyboard prone to sliding and is not practical for any use, but otherwise the keyboard is really stable and should withstand any moderate force when pressing on the keys. And the keyboard has an unusually thick cable that prevents from tangles and it's also braided, which is becoming more common on pretty much all the gaming peripherals. And it connects through two USB ports, one for the keyboard itself and the other for the USB hub at the back. So testing it out with some FPS shooters, we are pleased to report the keyboard performs flawlessly for what it's built for. The textured gaming keys actually prevent the fingers from sliding off the keys and the slightly curved surface helps with finding the WASD zone if you remove the hand from the keyboard, which sometimes can be crucial for quickly getting back into that action. And another awesome gaming feature is the full anti-ghosting support, which allows the use of all keys simultaneously so you'll never jam up in gaming. And some may find difficulty typing with the non-tactile feedback switches, and it's all about getting used to and we did not have any issues with typing errors. So the K60 carries a relatively heavy price tag, but with an aluminum frame, dedicated textured gaming keys, a compact design and a fast response cherry red switches, making this an ideal candidate for FPS shooters. The only gripe we have with this keyboard is the absence of key illumination, which would add a bit more gaming value for that extra awesome look. And the absence of the special characters on buttons 1 to 6 is a minor design flaw, which we hope Corsair will fix. And to conclude, the K60 deserves the damn good award, which would make many FPS gamers happy. Thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you next one.